about two years ago I posted this video how to convert images an image sequence into a video using Blender well over the last couple years since I've uploaded that video I've had several questions like this like this person uh, Kim Pod asked I have a problem my video added the images randomly alright now I didn't even think to address this issue whenever I made that tutorial because I I don't know, I, I just assume people knew it. But let me go ahead and explain how to fix that issue if it happens. Alright. Now, I have my uh, have Blender open. I'm going to add an image sequence. Add image sequence. And I'm going to go to the folder where I have some, uh, once my hard drive warms up. I'm going to go to where I have an image sequence. And this is this right here is where you control the order of your frames. All right. See the order, whatever order you see it in right here, that's the order it's going to be added to the video. If I have, see how it counts one, two, three, four, five, that means it's going to be forward. If I tap this area up here, it will reverse the order and it will play backwards. All right. If I have like if I clicked on size then it's going to be random because the sizes are not are, are essentially random or a date modified sometimes it will be random like in this case it's somewhat random but realistically you click these blocks up here until you get it in the order you want but typically it's this block right here and you want it counting up one two three four five and then it will be in the correct order and like right now I have them set so it'd be in that order and I'm just gonna press click on one of them and then press the letter A to select all and then add image sequence it shows I have 1100 frames I'm gonna change the output size to 1100 and then select my frame rate output and then select my output location right here and I always use FFmpeg which is right here that's one I always use and I put on H264 perceptually lossless you can't tell the difference between that and lossless but some computers will not play lossless so it's been my experience that perceptually lossless you get the best quality and best playback performance even on slower computers but that's pretty much it if you have any questions about the sequence because I just kind of quickly run over, went over it uh, drop a question below and I will get back with you later people